It's Lisa again, and I'm back to present to you my closet sale. I have a couple of items that I'm posting to sell. Uh, I'm going to do less make an offer this time around. So if you see some you're interested, uh, my email will be listed below. And um, you can make me an offer, and I'll see if something I can work with. And if not, we can count an offer and hopefully come to a mutual agreement. So let me show you the I, uh, some of the items I have in my closet sale. Um, the first item we have here is just a tote. It is from Forever 21. Hold on, let me put it on display. So it's from Forever 21. It's just a simple black tote. Um, I got this last summer when I was in Puerto Rico and um, only used it a few times and realized I don't use it. So I had a thing is I'm not going to let things collect dust in my closet anymore and I'm just going to get rid of it. So let's talk about some of the features. So it do have a back pocket with a zipper. Um, that would be great to put your keys in, your cell phone in. Um, if you want to put some money in there, if you don't want to dig out, that would be great. Um, it has a zipper top. And bear with me as I try to open it with one hand. And inside the um, bag is another zipper pocket on this side. So you can put, it's big enough to put a phone, um, a small zippy wallet. And then I was, it's black in the inside, so it's really hard to see. On this side, there are t one, two cell phone holders. And I know everybody got those big iPhone 6s and the Galaxy S5 and the Galaxy X6, I think is out or getting ready to come out. So those will definitely fit in there. Um, it's hard to see. Like I said, I only used it a couple of times. It'll be great for work, um, lugging files or totes. Um... It's not a leather bag, so I'm going to let you know that now. I got it from Forever 21. It's not really a leather bag, but it would do the job. And um, you can fit a lot in it. Um, so definitely, I think this is going to be a fair, decent price. Um, but I'm also open, like I said, I'm open for you to do negotiations. The next item I have is a wallet. Um, I got this from Joy when she was in a business. So this is like a yellow, greenish, umperant, umperant LV wallet. And um, it has a little slit in the middle here to hold some. Then it got another pocket that you can zip. Um, it has one, two, three, four card holders on one side. And then another one, two, three, four card holders. So you can fit eight cards in here on both sides. It is um, also additional space to hold cards or papers, receipts on both sides. Um, this wallet also comes, the uh, LV box was um, toe up, so I tossed it out. But it do have a dust bag, and this um, also... Uh, I would give it to you for a fair, like I said, make an offer or we can negotiate a fair price. But this is an LB Amperant from Cindy. I only carry it a, maybe a couple of times, but it is definitely in good condition. The next item is um, my Dummy A to B agenda from Bevin. Now, this has been a little hell and back, so I just want to pay, want you to pay attention to like the dirt marks there's a pen mark um this has been used i had cards in here i took notes in here um so it'll come with an uh lv um pad and then i bought these extra pink papers from file facts at one point um but th this is what come in here they had the lp the lv note paper and then there was some blank sheets um and some leftover stickers in the back here. Uh, so those are still in there at your disposal. And uh, I got this little clear thing from Falifax so you can tell it's been used. 
Um, I kept stamps and things in here. So another pen mark. Um, so I do identify that this is kind of dirty and it's been used. Um, so I'm definitely open. Um, but on the outside, it still looks good. Um, you know, if you put your little holder stuff in there, I mean, it's okay. You look at it like this, it's, it's totally fine. But I'm willing to, I'm open for negotiations on this as well. Because I'm into my um, sugar paper calendar now and planner. So I don't think I'll really be using that anymore. Um, and I haven't used it in a couple of months. So that's up for grabs as well. Um, the next thing here is a Vibra Bradley um, ID holder um, slash wallet. So you can slide your ID up here. Um, this can fit a phone. It's probably going to be like an iPhone 5 or smaller um, because I had the Galaxy X5. It did not fit. So it does not fit fit um, big phones. It, it'll fit smaller phones but not big phones. And in the inside, you can put coins here and this zips up. Like I said, excuse me for trying to do this with one hand. And then it is one, two, three um, credit card holders. And then you can slide um, some things here. Um, this is you can detach this and hang it in your purse or on your belt loop or attach your keys to it. But uh, and this is the tag. This is a uh, Vera Bradley. So um, this uh, for any Vera Bradley fans, this can be yours as well. And then last but never least, uh, taking it back to the old school, is a Doni and Burke um, signature um, drawstring bag. Um, I was thinking about putting this on eBay, but I'm going to let my YouTube people, fam and friends, take a look and see if they want it first. So this is a Doni and Burke drawstring I haven't carried this in years. My mom called herself trying to carry it, and I told her, Mama, loose it and let go. You're not carrying it. You didn't know it exists. You forgot about it. Um, it is dirty in the inside, and that's due to the fact that it is light pink. Um, I think I got this bag back in 2007. No, 2000, I think, eight. So it's really pale pink. So that's some of the dirt you can see from the inside. It has a cell phone holder there. It still got the Dorian Burke tag, um, duct tag on it. It is a zipper in the back. Um, it's very spacious. It looked good on the outside for the most part. I'm trying to get the corners and crevice of the bag. It's just really hard when you're trying to hold something. So that's um, the duck signature. The, no, that's not the duck. It's the DB. Sorry about that. So that's a DB there. Dunian Burke. And this is the other side of the bag. So it's in great condition. Um... If you're interested in any of these items, please let me know. Like I said, my email is below. If you have further questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Um, just want to get some of these uh, items out to offer to my YouTube people before I put anything on eBay. Well, I don't think I'll put the LV items on there because they are replica items and I'm trying not to get in trouble. So, um, yeah. So if you're interested, shoot me an email below. I will get back to you. And keep in mind, when you are making an offer, please think about the fact that I do have to ship it to you. So I'm trying to do U.S. Um, I will try to do U.S. priority mail at best. Um, so hopefully you see some you want. Or if you want to take all the items, I could just we can just set up one big fee and I could just box all it up and send it to you. So... Um, that's it. That's all. Um, I, like I said, I shot videos in two. So that's the t videos in two. Peace out. Good night.